DIY wing kits are now available for Titan rear drawers. The kit includes all the bits and pieces you need to custom make your own wings to suit just about any vehicle. Inside there's marine carpet, four bits of ply, screws, nuts and bolts and the brackets to suit your drawers. Your first step is to remove your drawer tops and slide out the tubs. If the stoppers are still installed, you'll need to remove them first. The next step is to mark out your bracket holes by lining them up with the pre-drilled holes on the frame. The carpeted bracket will sit at the opening of the drawers, the thicker bracket will sit in the middle, and the thin bracket will sit at the back. Next, drill out the holes with a 6.5mm drill bit. I used a punch to centre the drill bit and a small drill bit for a pilot hole. Once one side is done, repeat this process on the other side. Once all your brackets are fastened, you can reinstall your tubs with their stoppers and your draw tops. Your next step is to make four cardboard templates that match the size and shape of the four bits of plywood. With your templates made, you can now work them down to be the right shape to match the shape of your tub. Take your time to get the template as perfect as possible as these will affect your final fit and finish. The aim here is to trim them bit by bit so you don't take off too much, and if you do cut too far, it's best to start again. So that template is now sitting perfectly on top of my bracket, but now I've just got to allow for carpet on both sides. A good trick here is to grab your carpet and double it up. Mark the width of the carpet at the front and the rear of the template. Draw a straight line between the two and cut that excess off. As you can see, that gives you a gap on both edges to allow for carpet. Once you're happy with your template, you can move on to the next one. Make your front template with the same method as the back one, taking carpet into account. With your cardboard templates made perfect, transfer them onto your plywood and cut them out with a saw. So once you're happy with the shape of your wing, you can measure out the spacing for your bolt holes, but what I prefer to do is put the bolts through from the bottom, grab your wing, place it on top, and allow for carpet. Then, grab a hammer, make sure it's all square, then give each corner a light tap. Now with that done, you should be able to see and feel an indentation of where your bolt hole should go. Then you'll need to drill out your marks with a 6.5mm drill bit. And double check that the holes line up with the rivet nuts in the brackets. All our holes line up, so we're going to glue the carpet to the wing, let it dry and move on to the next one. Use an adhesive that'll bond well to the carpet and the plywood. And be sure to follow the instructions for whatever glue you use to get the best possible results. Also glue the sides and edges, then trim off the excess once it's dry. You can also use a staple gun to secure the carpet to the edges of your wing. While your rear wing is drying, mark out your front wing. Use the first two slots on the middle bracket and plug hole on the front bracket as a template and trace them onto your plywood, making sure the wing is centred and allow for carpet on all edges. Use a 51mm hole saw to drill the front plug hole. Then line up these two tabs with the marks you've traced and add one screw for a test fit. Once you're happy with the fit, add the other four screws, then carpet the wing. Once it's carpeted, cut out a hole for your screw plug and put it in the mount. With one side of your wings completed, repeat the process on the other side. Screw in your plugs and you're done. DIY wing kits are super easy to install and they make your Titan rear drawers even better.